Man, let's talk about the Lions' biggest issue, all right? Um, everybody seemed to say, and I'm going to address this in another video, um, free agency, Lions ain't do nothing free agency. Um, you know, it's Dan Campbell. None of the above is true. Okay, I can make a case, you know, why I'm okay with Dan Campbell. I can make a case why I'm okay with Brad Holmes, which I made plenty of cases for Brad Holmes. Everybody just tend to focus on the negative shit I talk about, but people say, well, you know, you should be more positive. What is there to be positive about the Lions about? You know, and I could be doing a lot more I told you so to y'all, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat my own uh, drum. I'm not gonna do that, because I'm definitely right more than I'm wrong on Lions topics. And it ain't hard to tell, right? But the biggest issue right now is injuries. That's the biggest issue. Nobody's talking about the injuries. And I'm not talking about the injuries that's just sustained through the season. I've seen people blame Aiden Hutchinson. And it's like, dog, do y'all understand it's a it's a it's a 50 what? If you count the practice squad, it's like a 65 man game. Plus the plus the the GMs, the scouts, the the coaching staff. Man, it's like a hundred. The ownership, the minority owners. It's like a hundred ten man organization, dude. It's like a hundred and ten uh, men organization. Okay. Aiden Hutchinson, it cannot single handedly dominate the game as a rookie with nobody else. He didn't have Charles Harris this this year, this week. What do y'all expect? Him and Charles Harris don't have no interior help when it comes to passing the ball. They damn sure don't have no depth behind them. What do y'all expect? Y'all expect, you know, Aiden Hutchinson to turn Miller Light into Chris Dow? It's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to happen. Even if Dominican Sue had help when he got here, Kyle Vandenbosch, um, Cliff Averill, that's more help than, you know, A. Nutston got right now. What they said, Andre Fluellen, Sammy Hill over the years, Nick Fairley had, you know, his spot. Dude, Ziggy Anson, it man, dude, it take... Strength and numbers. With the Cowboys, it's just not Micah Park Parsons. It's Demarcus Lawrence. It's the tackling Dutchman. It's it's a it's it's a team sport. It's a team effort. All right. So the biggest issue is injuries. We don't know what this looked like at hundred. You know, in Minnesota, had he went for it on fourth and four, had Bron St. Brown been healthy, had DeAndre Swift been healthy. They probably wouldn't even been in four from four. The game probably would have been over. The game probably would have been over. It wouldn't even have been there. They probably would have won by 10 fucking touchdowns. You gotta forget about the Washington game. DeAndre Swift was half ass. He was half injured. So you gotta understand that. No Jamison Williams. DJ Shark coming off a major injury, which he missed the majority of last season. So it's going to take some time to get his foot, feet wet. Tracy Walker, gone. Who else? Uh, Armani Arabia been dealing with a back injury. Romeo Court, gone. He was big money guy a couple years ago. Josh Pascal, non-existent. The second most important player on the team coming this season, Levon Nazorki, injured. High tie, injured. Be honest, TJ Hawkinson been banged up. Josh Reynolds been banged up. We've seen the side. St. Brown, he wasn't even healthy. Banged up. Whole receiving core out. Banged up or out. Come on, what did y'all expect? A lot of these dudes wasn't even factors before football was snapped for preseason, they wasn't factors. We knew J-Mo wasn't going to play. Anazorki, they was lying to us the whole time. He, so, he was so important. And then the guy behind him, Josh Pascal, who's supposed to be a utility guy, he gone. 
So, I mean, injuries. This team is nowhere near been 100%. You have not seen A. Hudson, Charles Harris, uh, um, Aline McNeil, and on, on his rookie playing together. Throw Romeo in there. Throw Josh Pascal in there. Brockers in there. You have not seen a, a rotation. They supposed to have uh, two waves of really good defensive linemen, this, defensive lines this year. Think about it. You know, guys that's playing major minutes like Isaiah Bugs and that, all them dudes, man, they, they would be like the second or third wave of defensive linemen. Come on. We know linebacker was going to be weak. They so we like our linebackers and what parallel universe is they talking about? You know, Jeff Okuda was a pleasant surprise. I'm not concerned about some little bit of issues he had in the Patriot game. Dude, they don't have nobody rushing the passer. Can't nobody cover forever. You notice the, the Rams back in the front, front seven ain't what it used to be. Now now you look at what? Jalen Ramsey look ordinary. You got to remember, you can't be physical at the, at the line of scrimmage like you used to be. You can't be physical down the, you know, five yard chuck. That's it. So come on, man. I mean, you're missing the first round overall rookie. Another first, second overall rookie. You got don't got no help. Him and Charles Harris when Harris healthy is just not enough. I care what what fucking round he put in and what how many how high he picked. Don't matter. That's y'all gotta understand injuries, and that fall on Brad Holmes. A lot of dudes that 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 he drafted that was that we needed to be major contributors not out there. But Dan Campbell said it this year: we gonna need a big leap from our second year players. You know where's the hell Melifano been at? I know he was injured, but where he been at? On Zorky, I mean, uh, you know Melifano. On, on the Zorke, I mean, Penny Sewell got fucking whooped by Matt Judah. That shouldn't happen. You know, they probably starting to give up on Dan Campbell, but it is what it is. They gave up on Matt Patricia a year in. He still has some time. It's injuries. Who making these, these decisions on, on taking these guys that's already broken up? Who making those decisions? Riddle me that, Batman. Who's making these decisions? That's all I want to know. Who making these decisions? Riddle me that. Now, is it him and Campbell making the decisions? Holmes and Campbell? Okay. Campbell got more responsibility than I'm giving him. But y'all got to understand, dude, it's a team effort. And there's too many critical guys that's injured. Will we ever see this team with the guys, like they say, the primary guys we need to see out there? With the, probably not. DeAndre Sue should be, should be gone. As soon as he's healthy, his ass should be gone. Go look for the Brees Hall, you know, the next Brees Hall or some shit like that. Kenneth Walker had a real solid game last week. You know, Rashad Penny out for the season. You got to go get you, you know, another back that you could depend on. Durable fat. We knew Javon Best had injury issues. We knew Amir Abdullah wasn't fast enough for his size. We knew DeAndre Swift had durability issues coming out of Georgia. This shit that we already knew. You knew they knew on the had a back injury coming off a year where he didn't play college. What would you do with your fucking back? You know? Just too many red flags. Too many red flags, dude. That that was that should that shouldn't have been ignored. So we can sit here, you know, put past the blame, but this team is too many critical parts that's not healthy. Too 
too many. People be driving crazy out here, dude, to go absolutely nowhere. There's too many critical parts that's not healthy. So that's the that's the problem. A lot a lack of health. I don't care about the going forward on fourth down and all that type of stuff, man. That's sec that's secondary to this. Injuries is really kicking both sides of the uh, ball ass. And on top of that, the defense already even healthy has a lack of talent on the second level. That's too critical in this league not to have linebacker talent. There's too many, you know, Kyle Pitts is out here. There's too many, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 great slot receivers. There's too many. Imagine you get a linebacker where you ain't got to take them off the field on third down. Man, that's fucking critical. That's liquid gold in, 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 in football. That's, that's the equivalent of a quarterback. I got a guy that can get out there, cover the slot. I get an Erlacher out there, dude. Like, come on. Too many. Too many injuries. That's just what it boiled down to. Too many drafted injuries. And every time they pay somebody, they get injured. They pay Romeo, got injured. Paid Walker, got injured. Last year they paid Ragnow, got injured. That's all I gotta say, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all the notifications, increase the chance of notifications. We go live and drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, App Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. Appreciate the love and support. Check out Detroit Lions Talk Players for more videos like this. Don't forget to check out my main channel right here on YouTube for more sports, music, news, entertainment. Goodfellow TV right here on YouTube. Goodfellow TV, peace.